So we may ask you to measure the length of an object. It means you're going to see how long an object is. Hello, good morning. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's math class and today we have a new lesson. Our lesson for today will be about relate centimeters and meters. In the previous lessons, we have talked about centimeters and meters and how and why we use them. And today, we will continue talking about um, this topic, but we're going to find the relation between centimeters and meters. But before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. Today is Wednesday and the date is June 3, 2020. So, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use measurement to relate centimeters and meters. Okay, so I'm going to show you something now and you tell me what do you see. What do you see? Look at this picture first. Yes, you are right. It's a ruler. And look at this picture and tell me what do you see? Yes, it's a meter stick. Well done. So everyone, we use the ruler and the meter stick to measure an object, let's say. But we use the ruler to measure the short ones and the meter stick to measure the long one. So remember, we use both of them to measure objects, okay? But the ruler for the short objects and the major stick for the long ones. And here we go everyone, it's winter math time. So when it's 8 p.m., can you see the sun or the moon? I'm going to give you some time. Stop the video for a while. Think about the question. So when it's p.m., can you see the sun or the moon? Correct! You can see the... So in the previous lessons, I have explained to you what does the word measurement mean. So when I ask you to measure the length of an object, it means you're going to see how long an object is. So if you look over here, everyone, you can see that we used the ruler to measure the short objects, while we use the meter or the meter stick, let me say, to measure the long objects. So as you can see, we used the ruler to measure the um, brush or the paper clip, while here, we used the meter stick to measure the house, the tree, and the map. So please be careful. Remember everyone, we use the ruler to measure the short objects and the meter stick to measure the long ones. And here is a video about centimeters and meters or relate centimeters and meters watch the video and when you come back we are going to continue the rest of the lesson okay so now let's move to the problem of the day so you can use different units of length to measure the same object the basketball hoop is about three meters three meters as you can see 3 meters tall and it's about 300 centimeters tall remember everyone uh, in the previous lessons I also said to you that 100 centimeters can make 1 meter so 200 
centimeters can make two meters and three hundred centimeters can make three meters so our first task for today is to choose a large object from the picture such as a table or window find it in your home measure the object in centimeters and also measure the object in meters so i want everyone to go all around your house and look for a large object and then measure the object in centimeters and meters so task number two what are you going to do everyone is to go all around your house and to look for something such as a door a chair okay and to measure these objects using centimeters and meters after that you can use your book to record your answers so open page 704 and the last thing for today is to read this question carefully and then solve it so the hair brush is 16 centimeters the hair clip is 6 centimeters how many centimeters longer is the hair brush than the hair clip so you have some steps to follow everyone or let's say strategies so you're gonna read carefully after that you're gonna underline what do you know and what do you need to find plan and then check your answer so let me underline here um okay so let's read again the hair brush is 16 centimeters and the hair clip is six centimeters okay how many centimeters longer is the hair brush than the hair clip so what i am going to do to subtract well done thank you for helping so let's say 16 minus 6 equal okay who's gonna help me to answer stop the video for a while write the answer down and after that let's check the answers together okay so what is your answer yes your answer is correct so 16 minus 6 equal 10 so this is the answer okay so we are done have a great day my lovely students see you tomorrow bye